Hey again, and welcome back. We are building a website together. So when we left off, I had finished somewhere around this, and I've done a little bit of work since then. Nothing, nothing too major that needed to be shared, but I did uh, make a little graphic here. I made this in Photoshop, um, put it into the site. This is just another bootstrap, pretty basic stuff here. Uh, I also did a page for special events. Um, so that's that's this stuff. I was thinking about doing like a Google Calendar integration, but that's just kind of annoying. Like, I'll just update it every time there's something coming up. Um, you know, there's there's plenty of room here for more events. Like, you could probably do a squeeze up to four, you know, columns like this. Uh, but these are just ones that I have materials online for. Uh, it's actually a poster made by a student. Um, pretty cool. Um, and then um, we have the staff before. That's good. And that's about it. So what I did want to do is uh, I wanted to show you something that you're going to definitely run into um, many times. And, you know, there's, it's, it's image handling. So these images, like, these aren't the same size. And it's actually, it's actually just really annoying. Um, you know, we could, we could crop these in Photoshop to be the same size, and that would be good. But I honestly don't suggest doing that for a couple of reasons. One, like, that just takes a lot of work. You know, you have to go into Photoshop, you have to make the crop even, you have, like, it's just, it's, it's annoying. Um, and two, a lot of the times you don't want to actually mess with original artwork for a number of reasons. Like, sure, you can save a new copy of it, but what I find is easiest is to just kind of crop it in code, which is basically you just put a rectangle over these pictures, and then set the rectangle's overflow to be hidden so that everything outside of it is hidden. Uh, and that way you preserve the initial resolution and all that stuff. It's actually kind of neat. Plus, you may need to use it, so I figured I'd show it to you on video. So this is how to crop a picture in code. And like I said, you're putting a rectangle over the picture, uh, or the picture inside a rectangle, and then you're setting it to be hidden. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, we need to crop both of them, actually, but maybe not this one. Um, we'll just start with the first picture. So it's right here. Um, it's inside the center tags. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and we are going to put a div right here. Give it a class uh, event crop. Need to, that needs to move in. Forgot how to indent. Oh boy. It's been a while. Uh oh. Found it. <laughs> hey! Alright, so uh, there's event crop. It's going to crop the link uh, and the image, which is fine. That's cool. Alright, we do need to change our CSS a little bit. So this was image responsive event pick. So we currently have the event pick CSS to have a max height. We're going to go ahead and change that. Um, we do not want it to be larger than 100% of this div you'd like to crop in just one direction. Bad band. Okay. Um, cool. So we now need to change event crop. Event crop. We set its overflow to be hidden. We need to set its width. Um, this is where we want to tell it how many pixels wide it should be. When you're doing this cropping thing, um, it's generally good practice to set pixel values. Um, but like... I don't know. If since it's since it's centered, it's fine. But uh, whatever. Um, anyway, let's just let's just do for practical purposes. We'll set it to be 250 pixels, and uh, we're going to do the same thing to the other picture, the hour of code. Do the same exact thing. Put a div class event crop. Almost messed up. I was like, where's that center tag? And this is orphaned. And then we need to indent that. Cool. All right, let's see how this looks now. All right, uh, we didn't do it quite right because what's going on is we have the pictures set to be, uh, have a certain height. We have the picture set to have 
a max height of 100%, and that's might be inheriting from the link, actually. Let's see if we can inspect the element and find out what's going on. So here is center div event crop. Okay, let's just change this. Get rid of this max height. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Interesting. Uh, okay. Hmm, that was not what was expected to happen. Um, let's change this to display. Oh, not max height, duh, just height. Uh, unfortunately, it's What is it doing? What is going on? Uh, obviously, this is not what should be happening. Um, maybe we should set the height of this instead of the width. Let's also set the height. Let's pretend we want it to be square. That's promising. Ah, yes. Good. <clears throat> um, so we did have to set, we had to hard set the height there uh, for this to work the way. And we can actually. Uh, get rid of... No, we should leave the width. That's fine. Uh, okay. Hmm. 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 Uh, let's try this max height. And uh, we don't want to set the width. We only want to set one. We'll set height to be auto. That didn't work. No, let's set uh, height to be a hundred percent and width to be auto. And we'll set the max width to be very large. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. So now that the pictures are cropped, they're the same dimensions. This one, you know, this one doesn't need to be moved, but this one does. We don't want this part. We want the center of it. So let's go ahead and give that one an ID. Um, it is, where'd it go? Ah, right here. Um, so we'll give this image an ID. Uh, this is the expo pick. Expo pick. And to move it, we need to change its margin left. It needs to be negative. Uh, let's just say, well, it needs to be centered. No, I don't know. Hmm. That's too far. <laughs> That's also too far. That's not. That is. Too much or not enough. <laughs> Getting better. Hmm. See, this really isn't working too well, especially if we do this. Oh, actually, it works fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to work at every size. Okay, that's good. Um, this is not quite centered. It needs to be like 134. Okay, cool. All right, so we crop the picture. I guess we could potentially move it up. Let's just see what happens if we move it up, too. I'm just curious. I want to know how it looks. This is white, it looks weird. Let's just keep it how it is. That definitely looks weird. Yeah, let's just keep it there. Um, okay, so we crop the picture in code. Now, the reason why this um, this is neat is because it doesn't force us to edit the pictures, um, which can be useful. And uh, this will now apply to every picture we put in here, whereas if we wanted to do it manually and edit the pictures, we'd have to edit each individual picture. So if you're if you're working with you know hundreds of pictures, you don't want to edit each one. Obviously, you could specify that they're required size, but this lets you um, just any picture will work. Just plug it right in, and uh, you know it'll get cropped in code. So that's pretty nifty. All right, so we got let's see, we got curriculum, we got highlights, cool. We got the course sequence, we got events. Um, 
there might be some more content I want to put in, but I don't really know at this point. Um, still need people's pictures for staff. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this stuff, the portfolio pieces. Now, right now, right now they really don't link to anything. So I'd like them to actually link to the projects. Um, so we're going to get to that in a second. But I decided that, you know, we can just, the best way to do this is to just hard code them in. Um, I could set up a whole thing with a database and a form and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's just going to be easier to do it this way. So let's go ahead and uh, navigate to where this is in the template. We already changed the color, if you remember. I think that was in, like, video two. Here it is. So we got category and project name. So category. Let's say, uh, let's put the class that this is in. So we'll say programming for app. Let's see if that looks nice. Uh oh. Computer froze. Uh oh. Okay, well, while we're doing that, we'll go ahead and change this. I'm going to put the uh, assassin website, the assassingame.com. Let's just put the name of it, let's not put the site. Wow, computer's really slow. I think I'm going to pause it while this fixes itself. Uh, the text in, but we do need a picture, so let's go ahead and navigate to it. Uh, I'm going to go to the leaderboard. This is kind of a boring picture. Um, cool. Need to log in. I don't really want to log in. Let's just take this. So, I'm going to just take a quick screenshot. That's going to take forever to process. Thanks, computer. My computer is so bad. It's awful. Um, I don't actually know if we need to specify the size of the screenshot. See, I think this template will crop them automatically in this section, but I'm really not sure. We are going to find out, though. Yeah, okay. It's going to take forever. Um, all right, but we do want to, we need an image, so we're going to call this, it's in the portfolio, we'll call this the assassin. And it's actually going to be a PNG. Assassin.png. Yeah, assassin.png. Uh, and the link, we want to take it to a new site. We're going to take it to the actual website. And we want to do target underscore blank so it opens in a new window. Um, we got to drag that in to our image portfolio section. Here it comes. And let's hope everything works according to plan. Yep, there it is. Pretty cool, but hey, wait, what's what's that? Ooh. See, it looks like these images. This is one thing about templates. You know, they don't think about this stuff, but these these boxes were not set up to crop automatically. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that um, pretty much the same way. This is an image responsive class. Let's add uh, another class, portfolio image. Stupid CSS file dot portfolio image and we want its height to be a hundred percent whoa that's not really gonna work is it that's a hundred percent of the page um, hmm. let's also say position relative I'm not sure if it's doing that automatically yeah. uh, what does height auto mean that leaves the white spot see I wanted to scale the height not the width um, let's set the height to be 100% and set the width to be auto. Hmm. Not happening. Let's see, it's inside this. Yeah, see, that's, that's not going to work. Um, row, no gutter. It looks like these are being... 
So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set a maximum height for all these pictures, um, or a required height. So instead of 100 pixels, let's just say they're going to be at least, they're just going to be 300 pixels, or maybe 250. Now, interestingly, when you <laughs> scale it down, it works fine. Oh, it's a nightmare. Hmm. Why was an image responsive working on? Let's go back to this for a second. Because this has got the class of image responsive. It should scale on its own. Certainly when it's like that, it does. but not not when it's this size. Maybe we just need a bigger picture. <laughs> Let's try a different aspect ratio. Maybe I just need to go full screen. It might just be it. Leaderboard. Let's just take the whole thing. It's happening again. Yes, I know, your slow computer. My computer is painful. I really need a new one, it's so bad. Christmas present, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, don't do that. Seriously don't, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> um, okay, it's awful full screen. Eventually, oh good. See, did it actually take the picture? It did. Assassin.png. We need to drag. We need to drop. We need to replace. We need to go back. And we need to check it out. Uh, okay. Well, something happened. It looks like it was too big, but now we can help do this. Put that CSS back in there. Portfolio image. Do this next. Let's go ahead and see how big these are. It's class portfolio box. It's got a max width, but it doesn't have a max height. Maybe the image has a max height? I don't think the image has a max height. It's got a max, no. See, it's just, it's just giving it a width. Okay, so as long as, okay. So the portfolio box is the one that has the max width. But it'll just scale the height. So we need to also give it a height. This is rectangular, so if we say, we can actually override it, portfolio box, and we give it a max height of, let's say, 450 pixels. And then this should be portfolio image should be height 100%. Oh, these are actually 230, not 450. Wow, it's really not working. Okay, hold on a sec. Height to be 100%, the maximum width to be 100%, so it's always uh, at least uh, as tall, and, it, and it's always uh, at, uh, the maximum width is always going to be as wide. So, it also does not 
Yeah, it doesn't skew because we've set the uh, the minimum height to be 100%. So it thinks it's actually probably down here somewhere. Um, but good. Okay. So that'll work for every picture, which is nice. So the rest of it is really just collecting the rest of our uh, student work and putting it in. But what if we want to add some more? Like, I want to add the name of the student who did this, too. So let's go ahead and go in here. We'll say div class equals project. Uh, let's see what happens if we say category. I don't actually know what will happen. And it should definitely be faded. Same color. Makes sense. Um, Justin Fagella and Ben Langley. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I like that better because, you know, you guys deserve credit. So, there you go. A uh, little bit not centered, but whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, cool. So, the rest of what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and gather the content. Uh, we've done a lot here. I need to do some work on the staff page, but that's... Uh, that's good, and this was a really nice way of showing you the trials and tribulations of cropping pictures in code, which, again, is only advisable if you need to do a number of pictures, because if we wanted to say that, all right, these boxes were always going to be uh, 400 pixels tall, 600 wide, I would have to then go and crop every single picture. And, you know, when you're working with more than one or two, that can be, you know, something you have to pay for. So save someone money, do it in code. All right, that's all for now. I'll be back with more.